Rider 6. All right, Red Mage here, and uh, we're gonna be going over World Tour Quest Equivalent Exchange, where you're gonna get cards, pipes, and rings. We're gonna be heading over to Beat Square, and that's where we're gonna be getting the cards. You'll find them with any NPC here. They have different requirements. You see this one, we had to defeat using a non-style, so I went ahead and I changed her style, beat him, and then I got the item right away. So for the second card, uh, I walked around for a while, could not find anybody, so what I decided to do was, let me just change it to night, see if I had any better luck. And of course, right in front of me, there was an NPC that actually had a requirement to just have a 2,000 or more damage combo, and bam, got the second card. Next, we're gonna be heading over to Beach Street uh, over in Chinatown. This is where we're gonna find the pipes. Uh, there's gonna be NPCs around there. It's sometimes very easy to do. Someone just says defeat the opponent. Can't get any easier than that, and bam, you get the pipe. So I do wanna take a second to mention that if you're very strong at this point in the game and you're trying to do these quests, that one can be very annoying because you might end up killing the guy before you can even get it done. So for this one, I had to knock this guy down three times, and fortunately, uh, DJ has a medium kick that can knock people down. Uh, so I switched to his style, uh, and then I also used the damage cutter, uh, and I was able to get it done despite being strong. And finally, for the rings, uh, I went over to Bayside Park Street, uh, and immediately when I fast traveled there, I ran to another guy that also needed to be knocked down three times, changed the DJ style, did the same strategy uh, for the second rings, went around the corner, ran to another guy that uh, he just needed me to use an active buff item during the fight, did that, and I got the other ring. And that's it. You just gotta turn in the quest, and this guy will uh, reward you with a energy drink and an officer cap. And honestly, with the price of clothes in the battle hub, any clothes reward is always nice. All right, just one last thing uh, for those players that are very strong at this point. Sometimes the requirements need you to punch or kick the person a certain amount of times or throw them a certain amount of times, and you might just kill them before you meet that requirement. Debuff items definitely help a lot. Uh, for the throw one though, I've seen that if you happen to have Jamie at rank 17, you'll learn his drink, you'll learn his snap throw, and that actually does zero damage, so you'll get away with being able to do that three times. Uh, and that's, uh, that's all I got. Uh, thank you so much for watching, uh, and y'all have a good one.